released June 3rd, 2021 on the Switch and PC by developer Games from Earth and publisher Bonus Stage Publishing. Sunblaze is a hard as nails 2D pixel art precision platformer that's sure to bring out your inner rage quitter. Thanks to the publisher for the review copy. Inspired by games like Celeste and Super Meat Boy, while reminding me of lesser known titles like Emma Lost in Memories, as I have never played Super Meat Boy or Celeste, but I did review Emma a while back. You see, these games aren't my bag. I find them quite intimidating, actually. Games like Dark Souls don't bother me, but this precision die die and die again styled gameplay is not for me. However, when an indie dev or publisher reaches out to me, not only am I honored and grateful for the opportunity, but I do so respect the indie struggle, and so I'm always more than happy to lend a hand even in my limited capacity. With this said, this is no pity piece. Sunblaze brings the goods. Whether you're into this genre or not, once you give it a shot, it'll prove itself a worthy contender in the easy to learn and hard to master and just one more go arena. While rage inducing, Sunblaze does manage to strike a well created balance. It's hard from the get go, from the early tutorial like stages, totally relentless and keeps ramping that challenge up level after level, stage after stage. The story is, if you'd even call it a story, your Sunblaze and your father, who clearly needs to brush upon his parenting skills and life choices, has designed for you a superhero training simulator, which puts you through a grueling stage after stage insane puzzle after puzzle simulation where you have to figure a way out of each room or die trying. And when I say die trying, get used to that. You'll be doing a lot of that. When the publisher gave me my review key, they ended the email with the words, good luck. I thought to myself, good luck? Good luck with what? It's just another review. 60 seconds in, however, my question was answered. Try to die less than a thousand times is what bonus stage publishing said to me, and believe me, I get it. While extremely difficult, Sunblaze does manage to create and maintain a sweet balance. For every death, you'll quickly realize it was your own damn fault. Sunblaze feels like brain exercise. After completing levels, I found myself experiencing brain fatigue. I was mentally exhausted. But Sunblaze, at least for me, is one of those pick up and play in short bursts games. Great if you're waiting in line, traveling or just looking for one of those what I've come to coin gaming detox moments. I'm not saying there aren't speedrunners and hardcore precision platforming experts who could start this up, stick to it, and complete it in a day. I'm simply saying I'm not one of them. The levels here are designed by what I'd like to call a sadistic genius. Expertly crafted to the point that in some instances, many instances actually, after completing some rooms, I had to sit back, take a few deep breaths, and pat myself on the back for what I considered a job well done. There's a great feeling of accomplishment and pride that follows completing a level that's kind of hard for me to put in words. While there isn't much to the controls, as you can only do the basics, these basics are well designed. The precision required to get through each room feels well implemented and polished, so you're not sent to achieve a goal with inadequate tools. There are times when I felt the jumping could have been tighter, but in hindsight, I believe this was due to my own negligence, as there are certain walls with grooves in them that allow you to hang on, while the ones without are a different story. The music was a bit on the annoying side for me though, but I suppose it is fine for the kind of game this is, and worked well with the 8 or 16 bit aesthetic, just not for me. There is no spoken dialogue, as far as I could tell. But just like the story, things of that nature easily takes a back seat. Although I own but never played Celeste, based on what I've seen over time, Celeste had more of a story, for those who care, but I personally saw no need for a deep story in a title such as this. And if it had a deep story, it would quickly be overshadowed by the game's challenge. Believe me when I tell you, you'll have more important things to focus on.
There's a death counter, but in an attempt to keep my spirits high, I quickly disabled that in the settings, as the humiliation of watching that counter go up quickly became way too much for my fragile ego to bear. So, if you're looking for some easy to pick up, hard to put down, just one more go style 2D platforming action, check this little beast out on Steam or the eShop. I think I'll be featuring this on the combo as well with Empress Nile, because to be perfectly honest, I don't see why this level of grueling punishment should be left to me alone. Misery loves company, and Nile, your company has been requested. Let's suffer together. AAA games are all well and good, but many times, if you'd like a truly unique experience, one off the beaten path, then the indie scene is where you want to be. Show your support for independent game developers. Most, if not all, indie games are priced relatively low. Some are even free with the option to donate, so there's really no reason to pass. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If I pissed you off for some reason, then hey, we all know where to find the various hate buttons, don't we? Either way, I won't hold it against you. Our game? is never over.